I think he's doing the um, right thing by, you know, trying to defy the odds and go fight Alexander Usyk at Cruiserweight for all the belts. Tishri Controversy, this is Tishri Controversy Live. This is um, a little excerpt from Michelle Joy Phelps' interview. I'm guessing that's her. Um, I don't even know where this is. I was scrolling down um, just searching Usyk because he had a press conference earlier this week um, in the Ukraine and it was a big turnout. I don't know what this is. It was a big turnout and I wanted to see if it was any like video so I can watch even though I would have to like use some translation software you know because it would be in Ukrainian. The professional IQ of me and it's hard to explain that because he's a far better boxer. He's a far better being. My bad. Far better fighter than me. You know what? He don't punch like me. And he doesn't have the professional IQ of me. And it's hard to explain that because he's a far better boxer. He's a far better being generalship ever. But yeah, he's got to explain that shit. I understand the pro game better than he does. I've been in it longer. I've experienced far more things. I've had to get off the floor, go through grueling wars. I've had to get on someone's chest and work for 12 rounds and win that way because he's faster than me. I've had to box smart because they're a bigger puncher than me. Alexander Usyk, oh, it's always stacked in his favour. Believe you me, I have an equaliser if he fights me. And it will land. And I will equalise the odds. And you know what? Everyone laugh at me. Keep writing me off. I've always been a Tony Bellew uh, fan and supporter because, you know, he has, you know, defied the odds, especially when people thought his career was over. You know, captured the uh, WBC Cruiserweight Championship, went up to uh, heavyweight. He did get the, you know, the lucky, um, you know, I don't want to use the word lucky, but David Hay was not the David Hay of old, as we know. You know, his body gave out on him. But Alexander Usyk is 15 and over with 11 KOs and already he has all four major titles in the heavyweight division. The WBC, the WBA, the WBO, and the IBF. And he will soon have the Ring Magazine title. He is also, when he decides to move up the heavyweight, which we don't know when, he will also be the WBO mandatory and likely the WBA mandatory. And probably, and probably um, um, as we know right now, he is going to be the WBO super champion at cruiserweight, which means when he moves up to heavyweight, he'll be the mandatory for whoever the heavyweight champion is. A lot of people are saying, oh, he's going to be the mandatory for Anthony Joshua. If Anthony Joshua is still champion within 18 months or so, then yes, Usyk will be the mandatory if he moves up and he's still undefeated at the time. So, I'm assuming not the IBF usually doesn't do super champions too much, but I'm assuming that he'll be WBA and WBC mandatory when he moves up as well. They'll squeeze him in or shoehorn him in in some type of way, shape or form, especially the WBA. But, you know, that is the future. That's about two maybe three more fights or so down the line for Usyk before he even contends for a heavyweight title. You know, maybe he'll fight a heavyweight in a fight or two. We don't we don't know. We don't know what he's going to do, you know. But as it stands right now, it looks like Tony Bellew is writing the check. We got to see if his ass, you know, going to be able to cash it. Udo Zander Usyk with the the, the, the the amateur pedigree, the, po, the, 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 the pro pedigree, becoming the first ever undisputed champion in the four belt era. In the four belt era. At cruiserweight, Terence Crawford was the first at uh, 140 pounds, four belt era, and um, Bernard Hopkins was the first at 160. Those have been the only three in the four belt era. Oh, and Jermaine Taylor, 160 as well when he beat Bernard Hopkins. But it's difficult to be able to, you know, gather up all those titles in the political landscape that, you know, boxing is on right now. And with Marco Hook, Miras Bredis, and Marat Gassiev, that's fantastic right now. Now, of course, you know, let's say, for example, if he decides to stick around, you know, at a cruiserweight, you know, and don't go to heavyweight, Dennis Liberdev is the WBA champion in recess. 
You have a Babette Shumanov, who's the WBA interim champion or something like that, right? Or the world champion or something. No, the W. Correction. In regards to the WBA, Alexander Usyk is the world champ. No, the super world champion. Babette Shumanov is the world champion. Dennis Lieberdev is the champion in recess. And some other guy, I forgot his name. He's got a long last name, start with a G, I think, that I can't. Well, you know, let's go look at it right here. This guy right here is the WBA. You know what? Let's go look at it. Let's go look at it. You think I'm joking? You think I'm joking? WBA champions. You think I'm joking, don't you? Where you at, WBA? They try to hide them from you. We're going to the WBA website. They be trying to hide them. Don't let them hide them. Why didn't I let me be able to click on it? Oh, there we are. Okay. So, you see? Now, they're trying to trick you. Hold on. Let's go back. Let's go back. We're on the official WBA website here. I know we're a little sidetracked right now, but, you know, just follow me. Just follow me. WBA rankings. Cruiserweight. Okay. Here we are. This is the type of bullshit the WBA be on, right? They have four champions. Alexander Usyk is the uh, super world champion. But Bet Shumanoff is the world champion. Dennis Lieberdev is the champion in recess. And then they got Ursline Gooley Marion as the interim champion. What the fuck? That's not cool, man. That's not that shouldn't be street legal. That should not be street legal. Tony Bellew, 30 um two and one with uh 20 KOs. Last two wins against David Hay, defending his WBC cruiserweight title against uh BJ Flores, his first title, by the way. Um, he had won, did, won it against um, Makabu. A lot of people went, was thinking he wasn't going to win that fight. And he is now the WBC champion in recess, which is the reason why he can fight Alexander Usyk. And he's the automatic mandatory if he chooses so. But I'm sure that the WBC is going to ask him, you know, to um, make his decision soon. In fact, let's go look at the WBC rankings real quick. Just to be on the safe side. Why is everything so goddamn zoomed in? What was I doing? Heavyweight. Wait, my bad. Cruiserweight. There we go. Cruiserweight. See, emeritus champion means that, you know, you're, you know, you're the mandatory when you come back. Okay. A lot of people would like to see this again. I'm not, you know, I'm, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if I want to see, you know, if I'm really down for the Breedis, even though Breedis did better than Agassiev. I don't know if I'm really down for that just yet. So, I wonder if the WBC is going to order Breedis versus this guy. I got to watch some fights on him or Glowoski and what's going on with um, Tabidi. But, you know, let's stay on track. Let's stay on track. I can't even predict when, you know, or where the uh, Usyk versus Bellew fight would take place. Honestly, it would be a huge fight in the UK. But, you know, and Usyk has already been gotten has gotten used to fighting on other people's soil and he's so dominant you know like i'm you know i want to believe that you know that tony bell you can pull a trick out of his ass you know and something we've never seen before and you know he just fucking you know beats Alexander usik or maybe usik Alexander usik you know god forbid though god forbid something happens and usik's able to capitalize like the david hayes shit but you know i don't see it 
I see Usyk just, you know, like outboxing him for 12 rounds. Likely not stopping him, but I damn sure hope Tony Bell, you don't quit. You know, I've seen God, you know, we've seen, you know, like how Gassiev could have had a chance. We've seen how Breedis could have had a chance. You know, Hunter could have had a chance. Yeah, not really, but, you know, um, it's not really, I mean, you know, it's one of those fights where it's like, you know, Tony Bo, you want to show that he's got real big balls. He even the way, look at his face. He knows what the deal is. He's like, y'all can laugh at me. He knows what the deal is. But at the same time, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to support it. I'm going to be like, oh, shit. Bellew's going in there, you know. It is what it is. I'm Tistry Controversy. This is Tistry Controversy Live. Please subscribe.